Hello everybody, Joe here, Soggy Bottom Forge. So, today, well, the other day I cleaned up this corner over here. Got some scrap wood over there I gotta burn, but that's not a big deal. Picked up, today I picked up some uh, pegboard. And this corner over here with my workbench and all that mess. Gotta clean that all out. So I can hang. So it's gonna be eight foot. I bought two pieces. I don't know why. But I bought two. So I have four four by four sheets of pegboard. I'm gonna build a frame for two of them. And that will actually join them back together. And it's gonna go down this wall. Which let's just turn around here. It'll take up clear from the corner there up to the edge of the forge here. So up to about here. That would be the eight foot section. Forge is still over here. It still has the metal behind it. So I'm okay with that. Oh, sorry. Forge would be over here. So back here is where the pegboard will be. This is where the forge is sitting here. So, um, so yeah, let me get the wood down. I have some one by twos and some one by fours because like I said, I'm going to join the two together. So I'm going to have one framed out on three sides, the other one framed out on three sides with the fourth, the center section with a one by four. So that on one side, I can slide it together, screw it together on the other side. So let me get the wood down because it's up there now. Make some measurements, cuts, and you get the camera rearranged, then I'll start measuring and cutting and we'll do a little time lapse. So I'll be back.
All right, guys, so that's one down. Got it framed up. This will be on this end. It's gonna go up just like that. This one here, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna frame the three sides. Get them both framed up, ready to go. And I gotta clear all this out, this whole corner over here, so I can lift it up and uh, attach it to the two by fours running down the wall there. Which will actually close that in because there is a big gap over there too. I'll close it in a little bit, help keep some of the cold out, I hope. So there's one down. I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off. I'm gonna do the other one up and I'll bring you back when this is all, these are ready to go. Show you what I got, show you how they fit together and then we'll figure out what I'm gonna, or how I'm gonna tackle that. So I'll be back. Alrighty guys, so I've got it framed out. This one here has got the frame around the three sides. That one over there is framed on all four uh, with the uh, one by four in the middle. Um, so this one, after I get this all cleared out, is gonna get attached to the two by fours here and here, as far over that way as I can get it. This one, that only has the three sides, will then join onto that right here this section it'll overlap I'll run the screws down and attach it to the two by fours at the other end and then I will have a four foot by eight foot pegboard so I can start organizing my tools and get them off the floor and the shelves and the pile of mess over there and get all this organized and it'll come up like I was saying it'll come up to about here to the edge of the forge I've still got another foot and a half foot foot and a half to my fire pot sideways so it shouldn't get too hot I'll keep the stuff that's not vital down here but that's it that's uh what I've got so far let me turn around so one last look so yeah when it's all said and done you shouldn't be able to really tell the difference except for there'll be a black line right down the middle so that's it for today. Um, I got a lot of editing to do on this one. Um, well, I guess not a lot of fast uh, time lapsing. Running it four or eight times, whatever I decided when it gets there. Um, so I'm going to start working on this. Once I get this all cleared out, I'll, it'll be another video. I'll uh, bring you guys back hanging the pegboard, organizing shop, whatever, I'll figure it out when I get there. So that's it for today. I got the pegboard ready. Joe here, Saga Bottom Forge. Peace. And I'm out.